Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Steven Kinchelik and I'll be going over part 3 of the Applied Credit feature. Now part 1 and 2 are great stars so if you haven't seen them already go check them out. And part 3 what we're going to be doing is going over ways that you can add non-grouped items into the Applied Credit feature. Let me show you how that works. Okay so I've already shown you how to include amounts uh, by including groups. But what if there's a flat amount that isn't going to change based on something in your budget? Well, you can click this Include Amount button, and this is a line that will be just a static amount. It's not based on detail lines in your budget. So I'm going to put in just generic of credit, and I'm going to put in the amount of $20,000. And if I want to get all that 20000 back, what you do is you put 100% in the percent column and you'll get the entire 20% credited into the credit amount. Now, another way that you can add uh, items into this uh, applied credit, I'm going to click OK to close this, is you can actually go down to detail lines and include them even if they're not grouped. So, I'm going to go and select cast, and I'm going to drill down to the principal cast here. And let's say in this locale, you're going to get um, a credit back on each individual cast member but there's caps on each individual cast member so you can't just group them so I'm gonna select this line and I'm gonna go up to tools view include applied credit and this window appears that looks very similar to your uh, fringes and groups when you're viewing applying the fringes and groups and it'll have the different credits uh, that you have set up in this window I only have the one set up, so I'm going to go ahead and click uh, that tax credit and close this. Now, when I go back up to my top sheet, I scroll down, and I open up the credit that I've set up by double-clicking it. As you can see here, that detail line, and it brought over the account name, or the, the account number, and the description, has been brought over with the fringes and everything. Now, remember, you can exclude fringes by clicking on the exclude fringes button and select which fringes you want to exclude. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. Um, but if there's a qualified spend cap, meaning you can only take $1 million of the qualified spend, you can put that in here. And you're only going to get 20% uh, back of the $1 million. I'm going to put 20%. And it calculates that and you can continue to do that for other detail lines. You can even do that for a whole account or even a whole category on the top sheet. So you would select the category on a top sheet and do that same process. So there's many ways to get uh, information and detail lines into uh, this window to configure your credit. Now some other things I want to explain about this window before we go is uh, that you can assign an account number to this credit if you want to do a budget comparison. And to do a budget comparison, you need an account number. So I'm going to put 99-00 for the account number. And on top of that, you can even put a discount percentage. And what this is used for is, uh, let's say you're brokering this credit because uh, the locale that you're shooting in, you need to pay taxes in that locale. So you may need to broker it because you actually don't uh, have a shop set up in that locale. So let's say uh, you're only going to get uh, 75 cents back on the dollar, you know, for the entire credit because you're brokering it. So you can put a 15% discount on this. And what that's going to do is it's going to take your total credit down here minus the 15% and give you the net credit here. So again, now when I click OK, we go down to the bottom of the top sheet and you can see we've got the account number, the name of the credit, and uh, the credit itself, and then the net total below. Now, this name of the credit uh, can be as long as you want it to be. So I'm going to double click and go back in here. And if you want, you can type in some information here, um, you know, explaining exactly how this uh, credit is set up to be more descriptive. Um, I'm going to leave it alone for right now, but just wanted to point out that that field is open for whatever you need it to be. And just one last reminder that if you right click on the green bar at the top and say hide net total you can actually hide the net total uh, from view so it doesn't have to be viewed if you don't want others to see it and if you want to show it again you just right click on the green bar and say show net total and that also works for printing if I go up to file print setup 
when I'm printing out the top sheet, you can say include credits or not include credits. And that will allow you to choose whether you want to include the credits in your printed report. So that's to show you how versatile this feature really is. Now, is there a topic that you want to see covered in these tips and tricks videos? Please let us know. You can send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to stop by entertainmentpartners.com and check out the new community section. There, you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. And we'll be adding new videos every week. Thanks for watching.